Got some power here. So I'm back. This time we've come to have, well, collect a new tractor. We're going to have a look at that soon. We're just walking around the yard to uh, go to the workshop to see it whilst it's uh, just being prepared, ready for me to take. So let's have a quick look around the yard first. Some big square balers, brand new. LB2234. One of my next videos will be on the big square baler in the pit, so keep your eyes open. More Massey kit over there. And all these tractors, vouchers. White blocks. There's some people over here waiting to see me, look. AS225. AS305 limited edition, look. And here is Andrew. Want to check him out on YouTube. He's called The Massey Man. Thank you, Tom. And he's going to be nice show to he's going to be showing us around my new 8s tractor in a minute there's still some more here let's have a look around here quick first this is adam adam's an expert in spanners aren't you I don't know about expert. you'll see yourself on the telly tonight <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a little small 85 horsepower tractor and some even smaller tractors i don't know what i'd use one of these four. We need, to, I need horsepower, that's what I need. Here we are. Can't walk past a big machine without getting in it, can you? <laughs> Look at this. Look at all these buttons. There's Adam, look, give us a wave. That he's all shy. Put the feet on here like this, look. So they've got a Fent 9T combine in as well at the moment. I suppose it's having its winter service. Look at the size of this. Say hello, Adam. <laughs> Should we have a look up here? Come on, up we go. Let's go and have a look at the engine. The engine. Hey, look, there's a belt off here. Also available with Massive Ferguson on the side. Also available with Massive Ferguson on the side. Oh, it's big up here, isn't it? Let's have a look in here. Where is the engine? Is it in here? How do you lift that up? How about that for an engine? man huge turbo look those fan that fan there as well it's gonna keep you cool on a nice hot day isn't it oh in the summertime we'll do a video on one of these working right Next step of the workshop. Is this a turbocharger? Is my new tractor turbocharged? No, that's the one off your new tractor. Uh-oh. Nice mower here, look. Don't trip. Zero turn. <laughs> How about this for a, This is the fent part. Preparing it all ready for... Doesn't that look smart? Do you think I should have had a fent? No. Oh. <laughs> 8S305, 300 horsepower. We're going to be taking this away. Join the 300 horsepower club, Tom. Join the 300 horsepower club. Okay. Let's take it out and have a look around it. There she is. <laughs> hydraulic top link and all these other bits and bobs we'll find out what they do at some point mm -hmm. tractor of the year 
Oh, thank you. Ah, ah. Oh, this seat's nice, isn't it? Look at the little massy emblems. Let's pull this out. Ah, oh, lovely. Andrew here is going to show us what we can do with this tractor. I've got a rear view camera there. Now then. I've already had a chance just to have a little look at this. And I've set up a profile for you. Tom's profile. And in that profile, it, it saves all your settings. Okay. For when you're on road work or whatever you work, happen to be doing. The other thing with that is if you come in there, Tom, you can set another profile. Okay. So you might want to set up one for the for when you drill in with the Vada Start. Okay. And in there you'll have some slightly different settings to the, the settings for road work. And you know, if you need me to, I'm coming up with that. But by doing that, it means that all your settings are always saved in the background. Okay. And you don't have to really worry about always altering it all because it's already set for you in the background. Okay. Lovely. With this, you'll notice on there, it says, when it says P, there's, it says six and six. The difference between this and the Dyna 7 that you were used to before, with a Dyna 7, you set a gear that you want to take off with. Yeah. And these Dyna VT tractors, you set a speed. Okay. One crucial setting that is, is important on a Dyna VT tractor is if you come in here, Go to transmission settings. Here you can set your forward and reverse speed, how quickly it accelerates and decelerates. But behind number two here, are these it says road supervisor and power takeoff supervisor, and they're quite important. They are to get the best out of the tractor. Okay. For road use, you want to be somewhere between 14 and 20, probably 16 or 17. That means as the tractor pulls up a hill and it's pulling down it will use the track engine torque before it backs the transmission off but for power takeoff work at five percent it'll slow the transmission down before it lets the engine um, speed drop because you obviously need the engine speed up for power takeoff work let's have a look under the engine quickly this opens up neatly look and you can get in here and really get in here get a good clean out with your airline just take this this cover off here and you inside the um, in between the two radiators there and you can really blow them out nice 7.4 litre six cylinder turbocharged agco power engine 305 horsepower as you've already said the beauty of it is the way it's designed it's got a very narrow belt line at the back there so you can really see down the bonnet from the... It's got the air, in, the air inlet on the back there the as well. The air intake's at the back there, hence so the gap between the cab and the engine. It's got this big window wiper, so it cleans the whole window, which is really good. The other thing about it, Tom, is it, because the engine, and the, the, there's a gap between there, um, it makes it quieter in the cab. Also, LED lights all round as well. You've got the GPS up at the top there, as normal. Two beacons, electric mirrors. Mm. Exclusive package. That means what? Well, it's got just about every option box tick uh, tick box that you can that you can have on it. Oh, lovely. Well, I suppose we best uh, well best go for a ride and take it back, and we'll see it working in one of the other videos I'm going to make. The seat's quite sophisticated. We've obviously got all these little pumps that moves like bits and in and out on here. Then we've got. Air condition and heated seat. This moves around there like that. And then I like to have the whole seat twisted like that slightly. Just makes it feel nice. So, we'll go for a ride. And brake off, in forward, and it won't go anywhere. And I'll just touch this, because this is, well, it's not gearless, but it's, it's got no gears, look. I'll just touch it like that. Don't even need to touch anything. Faster up, the more I put that down, the faster it will go. So we'll get to here, look. And if I put my foot right to the floor, like I'm about to, so let go and it stops, right down. Whoa, yeah! 
So we'll be using this bit of kit in uh, some of the other farming videos in the future. And uh, that was just a quick walk around, just have a quick look at everything really. Only a few little bits and bobs. There's loads of other stuff I'll show you in later videos. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video, which will be back down the pit hopefully. So see you soon.